Hi everyone and welcome back to Sonia's Prep. In this week's video, I'm going to do a huge grocery haul from Costco as you see behind me. I want to also take you along on how I make a dinner for a friend of mine who just had a baby. I also want to make some bone broth for myself and I want to prep some um, delicious lactation cookies because my milk supply is fluctuating, let's just say. Um, so let's roll up our sleeves and let's get prepping. I woke up this morning thinking, you know, I really want to make myself a good cheese omelet with lots of spinach, but I'm running low on milk, running low on spinach. So I was off today also. I thought, okay, let me just make a quick run to Costco just for those two things. And you know what I did, guys? I spent over $200 on this. <laughs> I mean, these are all things that I still needed, but it's just the all time, no? You go to Costco thinking you'll just get these items on your list and then you end up spending like a million dollars over there. So yeah, that's, that's what happened with me today. I'm gonna take you along one by one on what I got and let's get into it. We love getting these croissants over there. So they, um, I feel like they're so well priced, $5.99 for this whole thing. My kids love them. We make breakfast with them, snacks with them. This is what I came for, the baby spinach um, and the milk I have right here. I also um, got these golden kiwis. My kids love them, they're our favorites. And I got these mangoes, they're also our favorite, especially in the summertime. Plums, I love all the stone fruit this season. Avocados, of course. We got tons of lemons. We also got the thin spaghetti over there. I like to add them into soups, I like to make other stuff with it. Also, we have some mixed frozen vegetables here. These are organic sprouted pumpkin seeds. You've seen them before in my videos. I love to add these into my salads. They're just a very good source of protein also. Yummy, healthy, delicious. I use these for my garlic um, and dill baby potatoes, especially for Shabbat. Um, so I got tons and tons of these as well. And some organic baby carrots. I made my baby food with this. If you haven't seen how I prep my baby food, just check out the video previously that I uploaded. It should be up already. Then I got a 10 pound bag of rolled oats. Why 10 pounds? I don't know, we go through a lot of oats and they're good for milk supply and I'm just gonna be using it. First, I like to pop it into the freezer. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the trick of preventing little like roly polies in, in your like flour and um, oats. If you freeze them apparently for one to three days, they will never have roly polies. I don't know, that's what my brother said. If it's not true, blame him, but that's what he told me. Um, I also got Crest, this was on sale over there. Um, I got this deep roasted sesame dressing and marinade. I went to a restaurant on Shabbat and they, um, well, a restaurant for somebody who passed. Anyways, there are restaurants that are available uh, to the public where you make all the arrangements previously and they cook everything according to all the like proper laws for Shabbat. And they had this delicious spinach salad with a sesame dressing. And I tried to recreate it myself and mine was a little bit too pungent. So I wanted to see if this was what they actually use. It looks very, very similar. Um, some raw unfiltered honey I also got. Um, this was on sale, this was on sale. So I got some of that. And I got this bathroom rug from Costco. This looked beautiful. As you can see, I love gray and white in my house. Um, they also had these gorgeous kitchen towels. We always need kitchen towels. I like to like throw out the ugly ones. And I, whenever we have people over our house for Shabbat, I like to have nice kitchen towels to put out and sometimes they're just full on embarrassing. So I got these and I also got these bath towels. My bathroom upstairs is like a grayish, bluish white. So this would go perfectly over there. Um, and now that the kids are getting bigger, they need like proper towels for themselves. So I'll be handing them down, handing mine down to them and using this. Um, but unfortunately this rug that I got, it doesn't fit into the bathroom space that I ordered it for. So this is going to be returned. We got some Skinny Pop popcorn for the kids for snack. And also this, I know from previous experience, I'm gonna have about um, 10 of you who are messaging me, who will be messaging me that I'm a terrible mom for giving this to my kids, but everything in moderation, guys. We eat lots of whole foods, we have lots of fruits and veggies, and sometimes kids just want a snack. And you know what? Shy and I do too, so we're gonna be eating these as well. And that 
that's okay. So this is basically everything that I got from Costco. And I hope this guy is like, I love watching what people got from Costco or from other stores because I'm like, oh, I never had, I knew they had that or I never knew I could buy that. So hopefully this provided you guys with some inspiration. 12 o'clock, don't know how it happened, but now it's finally time for breakfast. I'm toasting my croissants over here and then time to make the omelets. So I have two eggs here, salt and black pepper, a little splash of milk. It's just gonna make it fluffy. Whisking all of that up, and I'm gonna add that into the omelet. All nice and ready. I'm gonna flip it and add some cheese inside of it. Some pickled onions. This is just onions with some sumac seasoning, some vinegar, and some salt, and a little dash of sugar. I do this whenever I have a little bit of onions left over and I don't want to throw them away. And then I'm going to top it off with some more spinach because from all the research that I'm doing, spinach is very good for your milk supply. Squeeze it all out. I could use my salad spinner, but I'm too lazy. Breakfast is served. Breakfast is done. I just took a quick break to pump a little bit. Um, not that much for me at least. Um, always around the six month mark, my supply dips and it's probably because the hormones are regulating and all of that. And then I always have to like scramble to do everything possible not to lose my supply. I've for the most part fed all of my kids for a full year with my milk. Um, with the exception of when I got pregnant with Hillel. My babies were about 10 and a half months, so I had to supplement. I'm already supplementing now with this baby. And I mean, it's fine. I'm okay with supplementing. Fed is best. I'm all okay with that. But just wanted to know if you guys have any suggestions or tips on how to increase milk supply, then please leave them in the comments below. I've already made lactation cookies. Um, I'm not so great with my water, which is probably one of the biggest reasons why my supply is dipping. Um, what else have I tried? Spinach. I've tried sweet potatoes. Um, just, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe you guys know of other tips. I've also tried um, almonds, pistachios. I don't know what else is out there. Just leave me your tips. Let me know what's worked for you guys. Um, at the end of the day, whatever happens, happens. I did six and a half months and I'm so, so very proud of myself. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below. Now I just want to move on to making my bone broth. All it entails is to initially take the, the bones, put them on a baking tray and broil them until the marrow starts to dislodge from the actual bone. And then after that's done, I'm going to be putting that into the soup pot and let that simmer away for at least 12 to 24 hours. So let's get going. I do wash everything. That's just how I was brought up. I can't imagine not washing my meats. So I'll be doing that. And 
That's it. Now I'm just gonna season it with some salt and black pepper. And the main reason why I'm doing this is that I heard that the minerals and everything that comes out of the bone broth are so beneficial for um, milk and all of that. So I wanna just do my best to see if I can get my milk supply back up. Um, and I love bone broth either way. It's so delicious, so good for you. So I'm gonna be placing that into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm just gonna fill a pot of water and plop the marrow bones inside of it so that they can start boiling. And that's it, I'm gonna let that come to a boil and remove any of the uh, scum that comes off of it and then season it with some bay leaves, salt and pepper and add in some celery and some carrots and so that's it, I'm just gonna forget about it for the next few hours. I just washed up all of the lettuce and I'm going to use my salad spinner to get all of the water out. This is just something um, that I'm going to be making for a friend of mine, like I said, who just had a baby. And I'm gonna make a, a whole taco spread, meaning like the meat, the rice, a salad, a dessert. Um, I made lactation cookies last night, so I'm going to show you what they look like. So let's get started on the salad. I reposition them and spin it again, just to make sure to, I get all of the water out. A lot of water. I'm gonna be using these um, foil trays so that the mommy has nothing that she needs to return to me. It's quick and easy. I'm gonna line everything with some parchment paper. And I remember how much I appreciated getting home-cooked meals from other moms. Um, it's so thoughtful, it's so nice. Let me know if your community does that for you guys. I like to make stacks of different colors when I'm delivering these kinds of salads to people. So I'll have the green cucumbers here, the red peppers, the purple cabbage, the orange carrots. It just looks really nice and pretty. And that's it. There's the gorgeous salad. I love the rainbow colors. I'm also going to include a dressing over here. And I'm gonna cover it with some foil and just label it so she knows exactly what it is. The water has started to boil, so I'm just gonna season it. This is a seven quart pot, by the way, so it's gonna make a lot. I'm gonna season it with some salt, black pepper, and some baby. I'm gonna let this cook for about two to three hours and then I'll add in the onion and the carrot because this is gonna be going for 24 hours. So it's gonna have enough time to pull out all of those vitamins and minerals. Next is some rice. I'm going to be using some short grain rice over here. I already washed it a few times. This is two cups of rice. I'm gonna add in four cups of water. Two tablespoons of oil and some salt. I'm gonna mix all of that. Cover it up. I'm 
I'm also going to write on the top right. This is going to be baked in a 400 degree preheated oven for 40 minutes until it's done. So this one I'm also going to be giving the mom. This is a taco kit. Now I have a dilemma. I want to take the taco sauce that comes with it so I could put it into the meat sauce, but I feel weird opening up the box and giving it to her like that. But I'm still going to do it because I also want to include soft taco shells, which aren't in here, which I got. What would you guys do? I hope she understands. I know, I know she's going to wash this later on probably, so you'll see it's a brand new packaging. Taco shells are included. What I could do is just put this in the meal kit, right? Because I want to use all this good stuff. So now I'm going to be um, taking the ground meat and making a nice taco meat sauce type of thing, and we're going to be all done. Into the skillet, I added in a bit of oil. Now I'm going to saute onions. I have about two medium sized onions here. And I'm just adding in the meat. I think tacos for, you know, giving mommy a meal are great, especially that mommy has a lot of little ones. And sometimes you get meals that are really not kid friendly, even though it's great for mommy. The, the kids won't really eat it. I haven't found any kids that hate tacos, so I like to make this for new moms when I have a chance to. I'm going to just season everything. This is some seasoning salt, black pepper, regular salt, a little coffee, some cumin, coriander, garlic powder. I'm also going to use the seasoning in the kit. And I'm going to add in the taco sauce. has finished cooking and it's not ready <laughs> so I've never made short grain rice in the oven I usually always make basmati rice and I thought it would really be pretty much the same um, so yeah this is a fail I'm gonna put it back into the oven at 400 degrees for another maybe 20 minutes and hopefully it will be cooked by then while the um, rice is finishing up getting cooked I'm going to add in the veggies inside of the soup. I have a bunch of garlic, onion, some celery stalks, and some carrots. And that's just gonna add to the deliciousness of the broth. It's looking great already. Now it's just time to assemble everything. I have the salad here with the salad dressing, the rice, the taco meat, <laughs> the beef. <laughs> okay. Now it's time to assemble everything. I have the salad here with some salad dressing. I have the rice, the taco meat, the lactation cookies that I made um, the night before. I'll leave the recipe in the description box for you guys if you're interested. I also have the soft shell tacos and the hard shell tacos. And that is basically it. And I hope she and her family enjoy. I packed everything in here, all the trays. And now we're gonna go and drop off these treats for the mommy. It's been about three hours now for the brown broth. This is what it's looking like. It's gonna continue to get darker and continue to get thickened up. I'm gonna keep it going for a little bit longer. Oh, 
Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some motivation or inspiration from it. Leave me your comments down below of what I can do to increase my milk supply besides all the things that I've already tried. I'm just curious what else I'm missing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Happy prepping from my family to yours.